Hello. The timber industry is filled with multiple different terms pretty much designed to confuse you. However, I'm gonna run through a couple of the most common ones and the most simple ones um, and give you a bit of a layman's term about them and some background to them. Saw and timber. This one is fairly self-explanatory, okay? So it is sort of the raw format that the timber will come into us, either in squares, uh, boards, planks, that sort of thing. So it'll have a rough finish um, and it's designed to, um, it's usually cheaper than the plain stuff. And what it will mean is um, it will give you a rough finish that you can either then treat um, or you can plane down to make smooth yourself, or you can sand down if you want to vigorously sand the hell out of it. Um, so that is one format. The other format that it most commonly comes in is PAR. What that means is planed or round, commonly referred to also as plain square edge. So what that means is it's been through a machine that effectively takes the sawn off and makes it nice and smooth. It usually gives you, uh, so you'll be able to run your hand along it nicer and it will give you a nicer feel. It will also give you a nicer look. Treatment. You get untreated timber and you get treated timber. So you can, in layman's terms, you can do a green treatment, you can do a brown treatment, and there's another one called UC4. So what they are, relatively all the same thing. What they are there to do is to prolong the life of your timbers. It's also to help your timbers prolong their life when they're in contact with the ground, which is predominantly the UC4 one. So the treatment is also there to help push away wood boring microorganisms and little buggy things. So you can get pressure treated treatment um, or you can get vacuum treated treatment uh, and dip treatment. Most common is pressure treated, okay? So if you take sleepers, for example, you can get a green treatment or a brown treatment. So in the industry, green is commonly referred to as tannalized. This can also apply to carcassing, so like C24 can be tannalized. Um, C16 is usually untreated, but you can get it tannalized as well. The other one, brown, that would commonly be, refer be referred to as tannatoned, okay? It's much easier to just say green or brown, and we'll always say green or brown to you on the phone. These are just a couple of few common industry terms that may be thrown out to you when you're ringing up for timber, getting prices, anything like that. Um, if you have any queries about them, just ask. We're more than happy to um, talk you through any of the things that we might ramble on about because um, we cater to all customers. We cater to public customers, trade customers, uh, people who want one piece of timber or people who want 100 pieces of timber. So if you have any concerns about what you're ordering, just give us a call and we'll explain it to you. Green oak and kiln dried oak, what does that mean in layman's terms? Kiln dried, fairly self explanatory, kind of does what it says on the tin. So, when the sawmill have made these beams and balls behind me, what they then do is they uh, stick them every layer to allow the airflow to go through, and it will go in a big shed, shipping container sort of thing, um, which basically dries the timber to allow the moisture content to come down. So, what that does with the moisture content coming down is it helps reduce any sort of risk of movement um, or sort of feathering in the timber when you're working with it um, and overall sort of gives you a, a better product. Kiln dried stuff is more expensive than green stuff. Basically the reason being is because more work goes into it to make it that nice end product for you. So green oak isn't spray painted green, it isn't green in colour. What it basically means is it's freshly sawn. So these particular beans behind me are green sawn oak. So they've taken the logs in the sawmill, they've cut them to our required sizes, and there you go. It's a nice fresh log, um, 
they normally have a higher moisture content. So if you were to cut them open, you may even still see some wet patches.